Alright, hi guys. Uh, I'm making like a super short uh, nose tutorial to help those who may need some help. Uh, you don't really see my brushes, but that's okay. So I'm just using a general round brush, nothing interesting. And I'm just gonna like go ahead and show you guys. So the way I approach noses, because they seem to be hard for a lot of people. It's usually start with like um, a V shape, right? And it can be a V shape towards this way or towards this way or towards this way. And this will be kind of like the curve of the nose. Like the nose will then be like this, right? So what we're gonna start is that, well, we're gonna start with just that. We're gonna make the V shape, but we're not gonna actually make it like that. Um, why is my opacity so low? Okay, let's do this again. So let's do a little bit bigger. So yeah, we're gonna start with like this sort of curvy, curvy V shape. And usually from there, this is like the tip of your nose. And from here, if you want, you can already uh, put the nostrils in. I'm gonna do that just so you guys kinda see what's going on. So I usually start from here, make a small curve here, and boom. So uh, you wanna make sure that you have like this sort of area here, which is um, part of the tip of the nose. And what I usually do at this point is that, well, first you kind of want to... So these are kind of like eyes. You can think of them, you know, like a cartoon kind of smile, smiley eyes, as you see. And that's kind of what the nostrils look like. Oopsies, didn't mean to do that. Um, so. Now what I usually do is that I color pick this and bring it a little bit, a uh, little bit towards here, like this. It kind of depends on the angle that you want your nose to have, um, but I generally like bring the tip forward a little bit. Let's turn this around. Or, um, right. So now it, it kind of looks very um, animalistic, but yeah, basically a smile. Then I uh, like make sure that the tip is more refined. This is kind of like your nose tip. From here on out, I usually just do. Um, I do the same for here that I did. Uh, do the low parts. Oh great, my program is jamming. All right, we are back on business. So, just to kind of help to see what the nose looks like. Now you can already see it sort of looks like a nose, but it doesn't matter if it's a little wonky at this point. So now you're gonna do the bridge. Um, boom, so here's the bridge. Already looks like a nose, what is this? Um, then I'm just gonna, well, I'm just gonna pick this white color and usually at the tip of the nose, there's like a diamond, right? So that's kind of what, um, the tip of the nose usually looks like. That's where, uh, the tip of the nose kind of raises up. Also her nose is a little, or he's, it doesn't matter. I don't discriminate based on sex. I'm all for equality. Uh, yeah, so I'm sorry guys, I'm just gonna refine it a little bit. You guys may have to do this as well. Surprising, art is never easy. So, oh, now you basically have a nose, but if you want to go a little bit forward, uh, you can, well, this is meant to be like the upper part, but it doesn't really have to, um, you can do it or you can leave it. Okay, we're gonna bring this down a little bit because it's a little bit high up. But you see, it looks like a nose. Um, 
now we're gonna bring like or I'm going to you can technically leave it at this but I doubt you want to because it this point is a little bit like bland as you can see so I'm just gonna take like very light color and I'm just gonna sort of paint um, this area and I'm gonna blend it uh, I know a lot of especially like beginners when they blend they usually tend to use like a blending tool like uh, well some sort of like blur or wh whatever program you use but just like a pro tip uh, learning to blend with just a brush is gonna make your life so much better because uh, the like blending tool it mushes down your colors and it makes them kind of shit so if you learn how to blend with the brush like what I do I'm gonna show you real fast I have a color like this and I go here this part and I color pick this and then I paint over it then I color pick this and boom I, I keep blending I just keep picking and blending the colors till they become like what I want and it gives like this more texture because here's like I think I can show you another example uh, I should have yeah I have blending tool so here's like a blending tool as you see it kind of loses um, if you use blending tool, it, it totally loses the form. You can use it a little bit, like if you want, uh, just teeny tiny bit. But generally, do not use. Okay. Learn to blend with your brush. So we are gonna go back to the nose itself. Sorry, I took a detour. I know, I know. Um, so yeah. So what I do now usually is that I do what I just showed you is that I start blending a little bit um, I usually kind of close this gap over here because this is like the tip of the nose so there's usually a little bit of like you can usually have a um, little bit of like shadow and I blend the tip Which is hard. Okay, I need to lower. Gotta lower the opacity a little bit. So just gonna keep it the diamond shape, but you know, make it so that it's a little bit more uh, part of part of the nose. This is just again kind of general, general tip, um, and then you can also blend this, this shadow here. And usually at this point, um, You kind of have the nose now, so I usually go and give a little bit of like a highlight here. So not exactly on the border, uh, not exactly on the middle, but there's like this uh, dark area and then there's the mid area so a little bit to the side it kind of helps establish the border and if you want you can maybe give a little bit of shadow here as well and you can blend from here depending how you want the like some bridges are uh, more curvy like if you want the nose to be straight then usually the bridge is pretty straight like now she has pretty or he has pretty straight nose 
um, but if you want it to be like the sort of button nose where the bridge is very curvy then you usually do like this right so we are just gonna I'm gonna blend this a little bit but not too much Okay, now, now you basically get a nose. Um, you can go towards details. Uh, you can blend it a little bit more. And depending on where the light comes from, you can also like give, uh, as you see, you can give, you can refine it and give like light on the side to the nostril. And a lot of times, depending where the light is going or coming, you usually have a little bit of light, like, coming over here, too, so... And you can kind of mold, mold the shape how you want, like... Uh, the nostrils can be... Um, you can have the shape of your nose to be more like round or blocky usually if you want a little bit more blocky i usually do this so i kind of you know you can make it really anything you want my opacity is too low again and just you know refine blend You might want to bring a little bit of shadow here. Blend a little bit in here. Put out a little bit more light in here. And boom, you got the nose. Um, there's also a second way that I do. This is like kind of cartoony, um, but if you like do painting and uh, more cartoony, then I sometimes do this, where it's just like it's like a soft triangle, and then I give her the nostrils, and they usually like human nostrils kind of go like they're sort of like this shape. So I start with these kind of shapes. Now it kind of looks like her nose is from below. So what I do is that I color pick this color and kind of give her the bridge. And I erase a little bit from the bottom so that it brings the shape. This is usually uh, if I do more like cartoony, each, honestly each way is like, works. But yeah, I, I blend a little bit. So yeah, a little bit of blend, and then I just go and take a light color, or a lighter color. I kind of do the same, which I did, the sort of diamond on the top, and then, you know, highlights. So you got a nose in here. Each way kind of works. Um, 
one is more realistic, one is more painterly. You can kind of uh, like work with whichever you want. But yeah, this is kind of like short, short, short nose tutorial. Um, yeah, just on how to paint, not really going through all the angles and shit. So yeah, hope you like it.